You're gonna have to get involved with your money. What? You're gonna have to get involved with your money. Oh man, Dr. Leroy Thompson gave us a revelation that changed the body of Christ. Money coming to the body of Christ. You know what? And that was a word from the Almighty God. What? Somebody said, ain't no money came to me. That's because you've been stopping it up. Ain't no money coming to you because ain't no money came to him. What? <laughs> what are you talking about? Money, you get a money coming to me now. Not if you ain't sent no money to him. I'm trying to get us away from fantasy into the reality of what it's going to take. We're going to take over. They're going to have to listen to us. Because we're going to have all the money. Have all the money. Have all the money. <laughs> Class. Let me make you listen to this. Because I'm, 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 the Lord telling me to say something. What? I declare in the name of Jesus at this pool will be the greatest wealth transference that ever transpired since Jesus rose from the dead. Money coming to me now.
Levi. My daughter drives a Mercedes. What? My daughter drives a Mercedes. 22 years old, still live with me. Drive a Mercedes. I just bought my boy a new Lexus. What? New Lexus. Man, we gotta have some money. What? Your healing will get a little attention. But ain't nothing gonna get attention like this money gonna get boy. These wild folks understand money, honey, when we get our money, they coming. What? If you want your loved ones saved, let the Lord prosper you. They're gonna understand when you start walking in money. What? In money. You want your family saved, get your money. What? They're gonna come an anointing in here tonight. They're gonna grab you like you've never been grabbed before and shake every ounce of poverty out of you and you'll never be broke another day in your life. You are going to get your money tonight. You're going to get revelation. You're going to get anointed. You're going to get understanding tonight. You're going to get your revelation. I wonder what you come here for. What you come here for? You come here to get, get what God got for you, didn't you? Obedience is the key that unlocks prosperity. You're always going to have somebody barking at you. You're always going to have somebody persecuting you. That come along with it. But just put your one up and go on to the bank. What? I put my one up in my road and don't put it down until I get to the bank teller and I hit that button the air blowing all upside your head and I just, I just, I just turn my money in. Then if I don't do it with my road, I just get my convertible Mercedes and she have the top down already. Yes, I got a $16,000 dog. What? Yes, I got a $16,000, $16,000, $16,000 dog. A dog, a dog, $16,000 dog. That watches my wife. I was looking in a book. I saw a man with a jet like mine. The white boy standing by his jet. He had his family. He had a nice car. He had a pretty little girl playing with a big pretty dog. And I kept reading. And I saw that you can buy those dogs. And I wanted, and they said the dog will watch the house and take care of your family. I said, I got the money. I'm getting my wife one of these dogs. If somebody trying to go in there, all that dog gonna eat them up. That dog understands three language. A movie star has been had, baby, don't worry. She, somebody got to go there. Let me help you, baby. Somebody got to go there. Somebody got to go there before you recognize you can go there. What? What'd you get upset about that for? With your broke self. What? With your broke self. What's the matter with you? What's the matter with you? I paid my due. You don't judge a man harvest until you see his seed. Assignment. You better write that down. You need to give every seed you plant an assignment. All right. And don't let pressure off that sucker until it come back with what you sent it for. All right. All right. I receive it. Give it a sign. See if you can't stand my prosperity. You can't stand my sixteen thousand dollar dog. You'll never get in. The Lord ain't letting no miser in. What?